My name's Lindsay, and right now I'm gonna distinguish really quickly between love and lust. It can be really tricky to know if a relationship is built on love or lust. And I think the best definition I've heard of love is something that I haven't created on my own. It comes from St. Thomas Aquinas and a lot of other people will define love this way. They'll say, love is willing the good of the other and working towards that good as if it were your own. So taking on another person's good, working towards that good. And that's why virtue is so important because to see another person, we have to order our own passions and our own desires. Lust flips love on its head. It's the exact opposite. It says, I'm willing to use you for my sake, my benefit, my pleasure. When love gives generously, lust is looking to take. What can I get to fulfill an emotional void or um, a physical desire uh, that isn't grounded and rooted in, in the other person's good? Like I tell high school girls sometimes, a relationship can look like love and feel like love, but it can actually be rooted in lust. This guy can want to use you for your body and maybe you use him in different ways for um, that emotional fulfillment, to have a boyfriend or to be wanted or to be seen. And it, it can feel like love and those feelings can be there. But the question you have to ask yourself is, is this person willing my good? If all of the physical things were out of the relationship, would he still be around? Would he still want to uh, love me and, and cherish me and reverence me? Because that's what you're made for. You're made to be loved and not lusted after. You're made to be seen with reverence and dignity because of who you are. And he's made for that too. He's made to be seen with, with love and not lust. Okay, so in high school I had a friend and I'll call her Alex. And Alex was in a relationship with this guy and he was a couple years older than her. And I remember this clear as day. Every day uh, Alex would walk into the lunchroom, she'd set her stuff down and she would just say like, you guys, like I love him. I love Jared so, so much. And it looked like she had like stars in her eyes and we would look back at her and we would as her friends we would be so confused because we would never see uh, Alex and Jared walking through the hallways together we never saw them going out on dates together we never saw him or her sacrificing for one another to love and to cherish the other but the truth was their relationship was entirely physical and what this did for my friend Alex was the relationship didn't last long because it was this relationship of pleasure and of use and the relationship dissolved and what she did then was go from relationship to relationship looking for that emotional fulfillment. She was made for more. She was made for a relationship where she was seen as more than just her body. She was seen as more than just someone to give pleasure to another person. She had dignity and worth far beyond that. Thanks so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos.